Hello, it is me, Mr. Boggy, and I'm definitely not recording this second time because I didn't turn off microphone. But here I am to show you a replay of a Tier 9 USN Battleship Missouri, which probably 1 billion videos have been already made on. But um, it is actually a special time in World of Warships now. And I don't mean that the teams are rather questionable, which of course is also part of uh, why I could have such a nice game. But uh, in the newest update, Wargaming introduced a thing, also not only fixing the UI of mounting signals and cables, which is actually a very nice and just... Um, I wonder why it's so late, but let's don't cry, it's already in the game. It's, 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 I think it's gonna stay, of course. But now you can mount all the flags, all the signals. So 21, up to 21 signals. And uh, would you look at that? I did. I mounted all the economic and dragon signals. And also a fire duration signal. Because I'm too poor to use any other signals. Also I'm playing Missouri with all this magical shiny stuff. Because I actually was really grinding and ran out of all the credits as well of a big portion of free XP, so you're not gonna talk about this today. So I actually don't like Missouri that much, I don't think it's the greatest battleship, especially in my hands I prefer different type of battleships, um, but uh, uh, it works the best when you have a rather um, not the best opponents opponents which have no situational awareness or just like to sell broadside the entire game like you will see in this game. <clears throat> so our first victim Hindenburg um, is gonna be the first one to experience what do I mean by <laughs> selling broadside and there's the first shot also the RNG in this game was really good I have to say that. So first shot in the air it is flying, I have no idea what I'm supposed to say. And he gets clapped for 33k. Uh, first volley of the game. And uh, pretty nice RNG. Because I will, as you will see later, the RNG sometimes doesn't cooperate. Now we have a Pepe Garico. Selling also flat broadside. We should. The, also uh, worth mentioning that the replay tool is still very good, you know, eight, uh, eight and a half K, not bad, could be better, but he was turning out, so it's still okay. Uh, I decided not to push because, uh, you know, they are still pretty healthy, there's thunder, they are very scared that the thunder will just make my life miserable, but luckily for me, he was, uh, the entire game, he was focusing the Yamato, so yeah, poor Yamato. Um... Dude, I literally don't know what to say. I said everything I needed in the first try and now, now oof. Well, let's maybe talk about the misery. The guns are okay-ish, they don't have any overmatch or any magical pen. They have a rather lobby uh, trajectory which sometimes enables you to do some meme stuff over the islands. Well, none of our cruisers or battleships even. It has radar, which are, we are not gonna even use once in this game. Um, it has decent uh, armor against AP when you angle, but uh, well, the HE spam really pens everything on this ship, like on every other US and battleship, to be fair, in the game. It's not Russian, what I'm trying to say. Mm. Oh, now I look at this replay again. This Soyuz is gonna home from A and the entire way to C. Wow, that's actually crazy. Also now, now like look at the minimap, there's a Neptune on like very interesting position in our spawn. I mean not in our spawn, in the C cap, but close to our spawn. Well, he's not gonna last. Anyway, another volley in the air, I believe for the Hindenburg and now he went a close up and... No citadels, but not a bad, not a bad volley. 11k, of course, free over pens because you know it is World of Warships. You are not allowed to pen with battleships anymore, especially cruisers. 
No cups have been taken yet. Remember, this is played during this pandemic slash patch slash weekend time. So literally, I think the worst time you can play this game. Now, as you can see, uh, the, the replay tool doesn't work. Uh, 7k on that Puerto Rico, but uh, Pepe Carico, sorry. Um, I'm clicking, and now I don't think I was clicking, but me and the teammate are clicking on this Uster Gutland, Uster, I don't know, the DD anyway. So maybe, you know, consider getting the cup since there's nothing really like stopping him. Like, of course, there's Pepe Garico, but Pepe Garico has only 10 kilometers radar. Um, so th th there shouldn't be an issue. Well, I don't, I wouldn't think. Another volley on the Pepe Garico, no citadels. Uh, actually, still have, I think Pepe Garico on range with a battleship is possible, but uh, he needs to be flat broadside, usually, and uh, with 406, it's not that. Uh, with American 406, it's not that. Uh, you know, not often you see that. But anyway, we shoot the Hindenburg, and I think this is the volley. Yeah, this is your average <laughs> battleship experience. It's actually amazing that we even got four hits, but anyway, five K from Overpen, really, really Pepe got a match. Um, and look, I think finally the DD decided, you know, maybe it is time to get into a, you know, both the, both teams are like running low on points already because no one. Did. There we go, replay to again, and there's like eight K, nine K. Let's see. Two ricochets, which is kind of interesting, but yeah. The hidden brook is already dead. Well, they are all abandoning the flank. They don't have a single club cup. And the thunder is kind of like he doesn't want to go in. Um, because he's alone and there's a DD, of course. But uh, yeah, well, can't blame him really. And there we go, uh, Citadel and 20k on that Thunderer, could be better, but it's okay. Uh, one was thinking to myself, you know, maybe if this DD is not gonna get the cap, I'll get it. But DD actually decided to go there, but I'm like, you know, this is a pretty decent game already. I want some extra XP, I'm just gonna go to get that assist. And so I did. You can see the Thunder just completely ignores me, and now I'm dark of course, but... Uh, my HP is pretty, pretty not touched, and uh, the entire game the Yamato was the one being shot at. So yeah, shout out to Yamato and shout out to Replay Tool for not working. Hopefully one day they will fix it. And there was like slightly angled thunder that I was try trying for the superstructure. Of course, didn't work because Pepe got dispersion. And. Uh, this is your average misery experience, just shooting angled ships for like 3k or none. And we got the cup, uh, decided to turn out here. The Thunderer decided to, I think, dodge torps, and uh, which was not really great for him, because as you will see, if the thing could stop... Yeah, there we go, 25k double citadel. We have already five citadels, this is... Amazing because I had games today in Missouri without a single citadel or like with a citadel on a 2k ship, you know Not usual stuff uh, We here try some trick shots on Pepe Garico. Sadly, I missed it's gonna fall behind not enough lead but uh, This is like you see already good game, but this is a good game because the enemy team is completely like doing weird stuff uh, allowing this game for me to be fun they're not like really shooting me they're not angling towards me this is your not average misery game maybe maybe during this pandemic time it's average you know but like oh, just interesting well we shoot the uh, Hindenburg which survived for too long and he should die as uh, well as the replay tool because it's struggling really hard so so far we have almost 150k two kills six citadels like that doesn't happen often unless you meet a ship very close to you now we try a 
trick shot against Pepe Garico, which doesn't work because I was kind of like, oh, I'm not gonna shoot anyway, anything anytime soon, so might as well try. And we are going for our second cup because I was like, oh, you know what? For, I need some more XP. This this could be a good base XP game, good uh, good money run. So we're gonna can spoil that we're gonna get a assist because the DD now decided to actually be interested in cups. Anyway, look at this shot. Now we have a flat roadside soils, and of this the dispersion, of course, kind of. Ah, uh, and of course, because it's a Russian battleship, no citadels. Remember, if it's Russian and on medium range, you need to, like, I don't know what to do to citadel abroad that ship. Probably sacrifice a child or something. And there is a carrier now noticing our presence, but he's already out of planes, kinda. Hmm. So, not gonna do much. Uh, assisted in capture. I was actually thinking, okay, this this game is going too well for me. Now it's gonna be a detonation, especially when that torpedo just you know home for my rear uh, rear not citadel but rear ammo storage or whatever. But uh, luckily for us, only like 5k. And there we used first kill also after 12 minutes almost. 160k, two assisted in caps. And four planes for the third. Now you will see magic yet again. We are sneaking, I mean, not really sneaking because we're spotted, but uh, I think Soyuz only sees the thing that is, you know, open. Like there's no uh, obstacle in between. And look at this perfectly, almost perfect broadside. Now he's turning in, but he's still not turned in. But don't worry, Russian armor will make. Make its thing, do its thing. So, 16k, but no citadels. Comrade ship cannot be citadel, even though that was 9 kilometers. And now we have a pretty juicy Bayar. Sadly, he has engine boost and he's just gonna run away. Uh, I think, yeah, I didn't shoot here at him. I was like, oh, look, what is this Hindenburg doing here? Uh, sadly, it's not, I mean, sadly. Actually, really good that it's not a Hindenburg, uh, just a mines, we were to clap for a nice 18k. Hmm, I would like to have a mines, by the way, but apparently you can't buy it anymore, that's weird, that's kind I heard it's really good, but yeah, whatever. Uh, of course, we don't gonna get the kill, don't forget this World of Warships. Um, so, somebody steals it, uh, doesn't matter really. I don't think it would give uh, us more points or something. And there you go, your average uh, misery experience. We shoot a nose in battleship and don't get a single ship uh, shoot uh, hit. Also, damage content popped another hill because uh, the ship like to well fast. Um, and the game is basically over. Two assists in caps, 14 planes. I think we'll get around 20 planes, or maybe not actually. Uh, oh, 200k damage. One secondary hit also. Um, and we shoot the us yet again. And amazing 1k damage. Uh, not even. didn't even get to break his guns. He also shoot us for another amazing zero damage. I was like, should I switch to HG? Nah. Now you see on the minimap there's a Shokaku really close, but <laughs> it's not really close anymore. And like, oh, I'm not gonna death strike or even shoot the Shokaku. He's already gonna be behind an island. So I decided to. Shoot the Bayard, and the game is just gonna end on point because you know, of course, it has to end on points. And here we have the screenshot. So the game was, uh, it was you know, 200k damage is okay. It's not something like super amazing to really show, but uh, look at the scores, the money we made: 2.6 million, 2.63. Um, okay, free game base XP anyway, with free kills. Pretty safe to say that mm, I and uh, Yamato carried this game, but uh, anyway, if I would, uh, I was probably talking about something important on this, um, and this is the most important. So two point, basically two and a half million uh, profits from one game, and then there we go, twenty two, twenty one and a half, three XP K, 
26k XP, which doesn't matter at all, and 70k Commander XP. So as you can see, this 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 new update allowed you for the Missouri owners to for some May May stuff, and um, I don't think people really need money if they have already Missouri. But if you are like me and you know you need to play this, there you go, go ahead. So yeah, that would do it. I hope you enjoyed this little video of high, very high quality, especially considering that uh, replay tool. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye. Also, please um, subscribe or whatever.